listen, listen. You already know what it is in the sport of boxing. There's a lot of things to discuss. Um, clearly, everybody is clamoring and waiting for the second round of Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford. I mean, a lot of people don't want to see it. A lot of people feel like Errol Spence is going to be better off. But it's word, you know, and this is coming from Calvin Ford. We all know who Mr. Calvin Ford is, synonymous with Javante Tank Davis. I mean, homage got to be paid. He came out and said that Keith Thurman is waiting on the winner of Crawford versus Spence, too. You know, so this is going to be spectacular. I think that, you know, this division could go on the up and ups, you know, especially when you got guys like Boots Ennis, you know, a lot of people ducking and dodging him. Um, There's a lot of people, you know, who believe that Keith Thurman should face it. even guys like Giovanni Stallone, you know, um, instead of waiting on a big payday between Crawford and Spence. But we all know what's going on in the sport of boxing. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of things that have corrupted to make sure that we don't get the fights we wanted. This dude Thurman been on ice for a minute now. Are we going to break it all down? There's a lot of things going on with the PBC. We don't know what's going to shake out. We're going to break it all down. Uh, and we're going to find out where does Thurman rank. Do he even want to see Spencer Crawford? Like, he sure don't want to see Boots. We're going to get on into a phonics. What's good? Yo, what's good, man? Yo, um, all respect to Calvin Ford. We had him on the show. But, sir, you got this wrong, man. Keith, one time Thurman been on ice because he wanted to be on ice. In an interview with PBC, he admitted that he didn't want to fight um, during COVID because there was no fans there. You know what I'm saying? So he's uh, uh, essentially derailed his career. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, he's up there with the likes of of the Crawfords and the Spences and the, and, and, and the um, Sean um, Porters because they all came up in the ranks together. But he might also want to win. It might be over, man. He might have missed his chance. Crawford is not going to fight him. And Spence ain't going to fight him. And he's scared of Bruce Ennis, even though he'll say he'll take on anybody. No, he won't. No, he won't. Because if you'll take on anybody, take on Bruce Ennis. You know what I'm saying? But Bruce Ennis will rearrange his face. I don't think he wants that smoke. I think... um. I just think he's done, man. I think he's done. I understand he's trying to promote his career now. COVID is over and all of that. But I think he should have been competitive during those years when his when when his peers were. And he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, you're right about that. Does anybody really want to see um the Spence fight round two with Crawford? And if so, uh how does it how does it work out? Give us a game plan for Spence. We'll give us give the people some optimism. I don't, I, I don't think anybody wants to see the um, rematch with Spence and Crawford. I think everybody wants to see the rematch with Spence and Crawford. Um, what we want to see is a more competitive match. And if, if if Crawford can really beat this man. Now, that's all in Crawford's head and it's in his body. So what we have to ask ourselves, how many months are we going to be removed from them having a rematch if he really thinks he can beat this man? Yo, Crawford's coming off of being undefeated, and he got beat down, beat down. Can he come back from that? I don't. He's a fighter, man, so I'm gonna assume he can, and I'm gonna give him a champion's chance. However, I take Crawford all day long, man. You know what I'm saying Crawford just has that spice to him. He's not. He's not a flashy brother. Um, he's not with none of that. He he's just about his business. Crawford. I mean, excuse me, Spence, he fell into that. I'm the big fish. I'm the big fish, and you're going to get this. And, and, and look what happened to the big fish. The big fish got got caught, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, uh, fricasseed and, and fried. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened to the, you know what I'm saying, the big fish. So, no, um, I think it's still Crawford's fight to lose, and Spence has a long way to go, man. I mean, you right about that. Uh, we want to hope that Spence could do something. Uh, I mean, it was so crazy. Like you said, he fell into a trap. Um, people didn't think that fight was going to be a landslide. I would, I thought it was going to go back and forth. Could you have thought in your wildest imagination? Because people had Spence actually winning. You know, could you have thought in your wildest imagination that a landslide would happen like this? I didn't, but I was with Bud all the way because um, I like Bud's temperament. He's humble, 
Bud loves the big girls. His wife was the big girl. Ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, he's just a humble dude, man. And when he brought it to Spence, you could see that he was locked in. He wasn't believing the hype. If you see him on, on, on different shows, he talked very low. He was humble. All you kept hearing with Spence was, I'm the big fish. I'm the reason this fight happened. Blah, blah, blah. Now look at you. Now you got to come from behind. That shows that you have to be humble in all situations. Because if not, you will get humble. God will humble you. The world will humble you. The universe will humble you. And Spence got humbled. So now let's see how you come back from this. We ain't really heard nothing from Spence since his ass whooping. Let's see. But Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman's on the outside looking in. Nobody's taking him serious. So his best bet would be to fight Boots. Boots is probably going to bust him up, but that'd be his best bet, man, if he wants to resurrect his career. Because unlike his, um, you know what I'm saying, I mean, his peers who went on to do bigger things, he didn't. He didn't. Sean Porter, yeah, he fought. His last fight was what, Crawford? I believe it was Spence, and he retired. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But you the last man standing. Whatever you prove, you prove nothing. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right about that. Uh, oh, do you think Keith Thurman could beat Spence? You know, the Spence is, like I said, he looked bad um, in his last out, or do we need to pump the brakes? We need to pump the brakes. Keith Thurman loves the Pacquiao. Um, again, and yo, yo, title this video right. Keith Thurman is a fucking has-been. Excuse my cursing. He's a has-been. He's looking for clout. He's not going to get it. Again. If he really want to fight somebody, fight Boots Ennis. He said, oh, yeah, we talked about that. Nah, don't talk about it. Do it. You too far down on the totem pole with your peers. They're all champions many times over. You've had championships and you lost it, but you're not that same guy. So you can keep talking all you want. And the game is going to pay. He's too old. You're 34, 35. You're out of your prime. Nobody's taking you serious right now. Fight Boots in this, and we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. You know, people need to stop dusting boots anyway, and that goes for the top guys as well. You know, you hear people say, why would I fight boots when I could do this, this, and this? So, I mean, it don't make no sense. But uh, hopefully there's a change in the sport of boxing. Um, clearly Thurman would have no shot. People feel like he have no shot against Spence or, or he sure won't have one against Crawford. You know, so it's definitely a lot to discuss. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports for more news updates and more. You already know what it is.